Hi, I'm Kerry Cahoolan. Today I want to speak to you about speaking your truth. If you've been involved in the Wiccan or Pagan community for any length of time, you've probably heard of the expression witch wars. Maybe you've even been involved in such a thing. If you're new, let me explain what I mean by this. What tends to happen is people find that they have a common ground, they have common interests, it brings them together, they start to get comfortable with each other, and sooner or later somebody speaks their truth. And then they discover that what they perceive as the truth isn't necessarily what the truth means to the person sitting next to them. They get disagreements, they start to polarize, people start to talk behind each other's back, this gossip thing happens, people start recruiting people to see things the way they do, they're starting to get into situations where they're taking sides and everybody's standing up and saying, my truth is the one truth and your truth is wrong and everything starts to fall apart and fragments into all these little pieces. I've seen this happen numerous times and it comes down to that thing I spoke about just right at the very beginning of this, speaking the truth. There's a story I told in one of the other lessons about a spiritual event that happens in a field in front of 12 strangers and how they're all looking at the same thing, but one sees Jesus, one sees Mary, one sees Gaia, one sees Urzuli, at least one sees a UFO, and at least one's looking around going, what are you all looking at? We all come from different cultural, social, and educational backgrounds, and this, this affects our perception. It colors our perception. And so even though we're all looking at the same thing, we can see something quite different, or it would seem that way. Andrew Geed once said that the color of truth is gray. So what do we do about this? Pima Chudran once said, the truth that you believe and cling to makes you unavailable to hear anything new. And being strong, something that we talk a lot about in this order of sky and this order of knighthood that I belong to doesn't come from being rigid, it comes from being flexible. The tree in the strong wind flexes and that's why it doesn't break or fall down. Anyone who's done martial arts will tell you this. The strength comes from flexibility, it comes from flowing. I'm sure that if I took you and parked you in a room right now, all by yourself, where nobody else could hear what you were about to say, you could look in a mirror and you could speak your truth. You could, with a great deal of passion and conviction, speak about your view of the world, your hopes, your dreams, your views, your fears, your feelings. I'm sure you do that all the time within the privacy of the silence of your mind. But what if the door opened and somebody came in? What if that person was your spouse or your sibling or some other family member, your lover? Now what? Would you be able to say that truth? Chances are if you have a loving relationship with that person, you could. And that's because you have some common experience which allows you to see things the same way or at least closer to the same way. What if your best friend came in the door? How would that work? Do they have that same sharing experience? Do they have that same common perception? What if I took you out of that room and stuck you on a street corner and had you speak that truth in front of a crowd of total strangers in broad daylight? What then? Chances are there's going to be people in that crowd that don't see things the way that you do, or at least they don't think that they do. Would you be comfortable with that? So what do we do with this? How do we overcome this thing? How do we deal with this? Well, if you're in a situation where you've got a disagreement with somebody, where they're doing something that you're not happy about, or they're not happy about something you're doing, then this is what you're going to do. What you need to do is you need to confront that person, not talk behind their back. That's a violation of the Wiccan read. Harm none. You need to go to that person. You need to face them. You need to summon up that courage, and that's one of those principles of chivalry we talk about elsewhere in our, la our lessons. And you need to face that person, and you need to face your fears, and you need to speak your truth. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, okay, I see a problem in that. They're probably going to disagree. They're probably going to get angry. They're probably going to 
get really upset about this. There's going to be discord happening here. What do I do about that? Well, here's what you do. You use some other principles of chivalry here. You fall back on the principles of honor and justice and courtesy and one of our precepts nurture the ability to perceive the truth in all matters. You listen. You listen attentively. Now, if you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to have a new experience. Now, what did I say about experiences a minute ago? It colors your perceptions. If you truly listen and you truly attend to what they're saying, you're going to have that new experience. That's going to color your perception. And suddenly your truth of the world is going to be different. And if they can see that you are truly listening to what you're to what they're saying, then what's going to happen is they're going to start listening to you. And that's going to change their perception because now they've got a new experience. And suddenly that's going to bring you together. It's going to create common ground. It's going to allow you to be different, but realize that even though you're different, you are looking at that same thing. Hans Oscar Poor once said, speak your truth and you'll evolve your world. Let's all do this. And I totally agree. So go out there and speak your truth and seek the truth. And you'll be able to get on in the world. No problem. Thanks for listening. Be glorious.